There's the bell. We're underway. And Danny Williams goes right in and looks to trade. And that could be a huge mistake. Tyson going right to the body. Williams would like to keep him off with the jab and land that right hand behind it. And of course, the uppercut, again, something to look for from Williams. And he wants to tie Tyson up on the inside. They've been working on that. And we'll see how effectively he can do it. Once again, Tyson really belting to the midsection. Being cautioned by the third man of the ring, Dennis Alford, to keep the punches up. These are vicious punches by Tyson. Tyson's working well on the inside. Now, Dennis Alford, we pointed out he's been a referee for 25 years. He's, but he's never had a world championship fight. He's never been in a fight of this magnitude. And boy, referees are tested in Mike Tyson fights for a variety of reasons. Danny Williams, no stranger to fouling. He just used his elbow. He's been cited for low blows in a couple of fights back in England. Tyson digging to the body. Left hook to the jaw. Another left hook upstairs. A left uppercut staggers Williams. in trouble in the early going. Williams came out and did what he told us he was going to do, fight on the inside, and that was a bad mistake. And it cost him. That is not the way to fight Mike Tyson. And he's learning that the hard way. Now, Danny Williams has still standing. Look at him. He's still standing. Three in a row. Two to the body, a third one to the chin. All left hands by Mike Tyson. Will Williams get out of the first round? Already he has been wobbled. You know, Freddie Roach has to like this. Even though he, it, it looks like he's hurting Williams early, he's doing it the way Roach wants him to. Throwing good combinations on the inside and tremendously good left hooks. Those are very, oh, something happened to Tyson. He may have gotten a low blow, but he is digging in. Left uppercut to the chin after a series of blows in the midsection. Looking to end it with 19 seconds left in the opening round. But something's right, keeping that. Danny Williams up. He is taking up. some kind of punishment here. 10 seconds. Another left hook, partially blocked by Williams. That one got through. Then to the belly. Mike, keep him up. Oh. Tyson may have twisted his left knee at some point during the first round, which is why he grimaced. Remember that? Anyway, round two. Coming off complete dominance by Tyson in round one. We saw in that last round something that I think is a good sign for Mike Tyson. It bodes well for the future. He countered beautifully from that uppercut with the left hook, just like he and Roach have worked on. So he's thinking in that ring, not just throwing wild punches. Williams has to stay on the outside and use the jab. He only threw 11 jabs in round one. Tyson threw Break, 25 clean, jabs. Come on now, I've got you. Break clean. Now, Danny Williams told us he wants to take this fight to the fourth and fifth or sixth round. But the problem is, if you take this much punishment, can you sustain to that point, and what will you have left yourself? He's hoping Tyson will tire himself out. There's a good left hook upstairs out of nowhere by Danny Williams. Keep him up, guys. Both of them. Both of them have been shooting low blows. I mean, both of them. Keep them up. Now, if you ask me, should, should Williams be throwing left hooks? I say no, because you get countered. And yet, that left hook stunned Tyson for a moment. A right and a left, right upstairs, right clean, right left clean, to the guys. body by Mike right Tyson. Clean, Danny, I think Danny Williams has already answered the question of whether he has heart. <laughs> yep. That part he's answered. Don't push him off, Williams' man. best punch is the right uppercut, but Tyson will look to counter that with the overhand right or the left hook. But Danny Williams, for the most part, has been wide open. His elbows are high, and he's allowed Mike Tyson inside to the body. 
There's the jab of Williams, and when he throws it, he's able to get that punch in. But he is he's leaning into Tyson a lot, and that's giving Mike Tyson a chance to land those shots. Now some head movement by uh, Tyson, ripping uppercuts to the chin. Now back comes Williams with a left-right combination. And that was the uppercut by Williams. He's ripping those shots. Pushing Tyson back. It's competitive now. fighting the wrong fight, but somehow he's hanging in there. He is trading with Mike Tyson when you should be working from the outside and throwing the jab, tying him up, pushing him back, using your straight. But he has landed some very good shots in there, and in this round did as well. Can he sustain that? And can Tyson sustain? Final seconds of round two. Job done. Round three scheduled for Ted. Tyson, who had Williams in trouble in the opening round, and Williams gets to round three. More pressure here from Tyson, but Williams with a left uppercut to the body. Williams fighting off the ropes successfully. You know, a key element of this is the body work of Williams. He is really right. making an impact. There's some blood on the head of Danny Williams now. Outside the right arm. One point. Late blow. Bennett corner. One point. Late punch. One point. Late punch. I see it. Still time. Stop. Doctor. Need the doctor. Where's the doctor? Stay right here, Mike. I'm looking at your eye. Mike, Mike Tyson is cut over the right eye. And they're there having a hard time getting the doctor in the ring. Finally, he's there. We're going to try and find out who the point was deducted from. What? No, not intentional. Not intentional. It was not intentional. So not now intentional. Dennis Alford is saying it was a non-intentional late punch thrown oh. by Danny Williams. Well, he took a point away for something. And here comes Tyson. Right. I think the clash of heads was, right. was no, uh, clean. Danny or Holden created the cut, and he's saying that's not Fox. intentional. The point was deducted for a late punch from someone, but Alfred didn't indicate exactly who. So confusion uh, reigns Danny, here in round three. Again, the body shots by Danny Williams. Neutral point. Low blow. Now, point. Now, a point low being low. taken away point. from Danny Williams for a low blow. Low blow. Point. Well, we know that's taken away from Williams. We Keep don't know who the point was taken Fox. away for the, for the late punch. I guess late after they were, um, after they were broken. The referee never said who that point was taken away from. We said the referee might be a factor in this fight, and guess what? He is. Well, Tyson will hope to take right, matters right, into right, his own right. hands, but right, Danny right, Williams right. is standing up to him. Tyson just missing with that overhand right. Now we're being told that both deductions were against Danny Williams. Box. Which we had first thought, but weren't sure. Oh, a left hook to the neck by Mike Tyson. Some, this is a vicious yeah, exchange. Form, Williams coming back again with an overhand yeah, right. Missing with the left. There's a right hand by Williams. Pushes Tyson back. Continue to trade. Tremendous action. For using the forearm. Box. Another warning for using the forearm by Dennis Alfred to Danny Williams. But man, he has shown some heart here, and he and Tyson have put on a great show over the first several rounds. 
10 seconds. Oh, what a left hand. That sent Williams ah. off. He has. Both have cuts. You see the cut uh, around the right eye of, of Mike Tyson. I don't think the blood is going into his eye as we had a round four. And we've now gotten a clarification. Two points were taken away from Danny Williams. One for an elbow and one for a low blow. So he lost two points in that last round. Tyson pours it up. Oh, a big right hand by Tyson to the head. And a left hook by Williams at the same time. So both men are landing bombs. Some resounding shots by Tyson. Now Williams going back to the jab. Tyson answers with a jab of his own. Tyson trying to land with that uppercut. And now Williams hangs on. And hearing it again from the crowd. Tyson missing with a left hook attempt. A straight right by Tyson, but it was out in the chest. And back comes William. We are in the fourth round, and that is exactly where Williams claimed he needed to get this fight. We asked him, what is, constitutes the later rounds for you? There's that uppercut. He said the fourth round is the later rounds. That's when I could start to take over. We'll see. We'll see what kind of condition Mike Tyson is in. Let's remember that Williams is a 265, his heaviest weight ever. So that puts his conditioning into question. Tyson's pace has slowed with a minute to go on the four. He doesn't look like the same guy in the first three rounds. And there was a jab straight right hand by Williams. He's trying to just end it on one punch right now. Williams knows it, and he throws combinations. He looks the sharper of the two and the fresher of the two, Danny Williams. And Mike Tyson's punches are getting wider, and he's relying more on that winging right hand as opposed to the punches with leverage. And look at Williams not pushing him off. A la Evander Holyfield and Lennox Lewis, and he's having his way. Firing shots. Tyson in some difficulty. 